Hey guys, how you going? And welcome back to another episode of this BBL series featuring the Melbourne Stars. In today's episode, we are playing the qualifier, so 1v2. There's the Stars, we the Scorchers, we're playing at the G, but before we get into that, let's uh, play the Eliminator, which is the Brisbane Heat v the Renegades. So let's simulate this one. And the Renegades have won by seven wickets, and effectively they've knocked out the Brisbane Heat. The Renegades will be playing the Sydney Sixers in the knockout, which will happen after the qualifier. So let's take a look at the scorecard here. And uh, Lawrence top scoring for the Heat 39, and the Renegades 3 for 154, Marcus Harris 62, Russo 40 not out. And the Renegades have booked a ticket into the knockout. So looking at the lineups, we have gone unchanged to the last few matches, seem to be working pretty well. Uh, and the Scorchers, Roy Livingston and Munro up the top there, the three overseas players, a lot of firepower there. And Inglis, Marsh, Turner, Hardy, Richardson, Ty, Berendorf and Farwood Armoured rounding up the eleven. All in all, it's going to be a pretty uh, bloody close match here. The winner goes through straight to the final. Meanwhile, the loser will uh, end up playing in the Challenger. So it'll be interesting to see what happens, but let's get amongst it. And here we go, lads, playing Scorchers at the G. Where's the, everyone in the crowd? No one in the uh, level 3 there, anyway. Scorchers have called. Of course, we want to bowl first as the ideal result, which it is. So let's have a bowl. Okay, here we go. First ball, Cordenal charging in. Roy on strike here. Straight away, it could be 4. No, he's going to cut it off there. Oh, jeez. Took a while to get going and almost a run out opportunity. Okay, we go. Change field up. This is much better. A deep extra cover and a deep backward point. Yep. And he's going to get a single there. It's not too bad. If we're normally... Bowling's definitely the strong suit. If we can restrict him to under 130, I'm pretty confident we could chase it. We did chase down 130 plus last match, so we are in some good batting form. And we're just going to make sure we keep on top of the uh, bowling right line and length, you know. Spinners have been doing it all pretty much. So Maxwell, Khan and Zampa will probably bowl out there four overs each. So that's 12 overs there. And then Coulton Nile and uh, Stanlake should bowl out the rest potentially. That's a good throw too. Oh, Director would have had him for sure. Last ball coming up here. Livingston 1, Roy 4. We're going to go back of a length. Oh, hang on. Surely not. Catch this one, please. Oh. Oh, he's caught it. Huge first wicket to fall in the first over. And it's Livington, Livingston gone for one off two. That is fantastic. And now Munro is walking out to the crease. What a great start, though. Now Munro on strike. Full of confidence already. One for five, the Scorchers. Let's go, Stanlake. It's a great shot to start off with for one. Oh. Okay, apologies. I think what I'm going to do is bowl Stanlake and Coulton Isle three each at the start. And then just bowl spin the rest of the time. Oh, that shit house. Um, and then have yeah, Stanlake and Coulton Isle bowl the uh, 19th and 20th overs. Just to uh, make sure we get the full five. I don't think I'll bowl Stornis unless... Uh, I mean, Stanlake would have to bowl pretty shit in the next couple of overs for me to change it up. But we'll find out. Into the fourth over, one for 18, the Scorchers, and Stanley starting his second one for 11. What oh, is tall bounce there, just the one note. Far out. Too straight. Running the uh, the arc there to go bang, and Roy's done so. Could be four. Ah, uh, what? What a shit over from Stanley. Surely Kilt and I won't let me down. One for seven off two. Two overs left in the power play. Well, well, well. Hello, hello. You should house bowling. Let's try this one again. Come on, Coulton Isle. Got him! Oh, it's worked. Albeit very, uh, very luckily with a little inside edge. Unfortunately, the Munro, but we'll take the wicket. New man, Inglis, loves to uh, use the crease here. Oh, first ball. It's four. It is a cracking shot. Well... Inglis uh, launching first up here. Not good at bowling here from Coulton Isle. Needs to bring it back. Although that's his last over for a while. Um, I'm going to keep Stanley going. No, I'm not. I'm going to bring on Stornis to bowl one. We'll see how he goes. If he goes all right, then he might bowl the last. If he doesn't, then I might take Stanley back. Anyway, last over the power play. Two for 40 going at eights. Oh, no. Now that one hurts. Just bowled a no ball here. So Stornis really starting well for us. I thought this one should be a dot ball. Yes, lad. That's a great shot from Roy. It's four. Found a gap. Oh, well, at least we're out of the power play soon, so surely we should be able to plug that gap up. Okay, let's go short here. 
Try and just get him to hit it down to deep backward. Oh, no. No. Oh, goodness me, Stornis. Could be your one and uh, one first and last over of the match. Okay, here we go. Bit of Zampa. Bit of Zorba. Took a few poles last match. Can he do it again? That's um, not too bad. Oh, that's a good shot there from Roy. Once again, finds a gap. Very well played. It's a cracking shot. It's six, maybe. One bounce four. Jesus Christ, this is uh, Zorba's pretty, pretty, probably most expensive over. Stornis is going to spell. We're going to bring on Zahir Khan. We need the one runoff so far. Two balls to go. Righto, switch it. Oh, straight to the man. Roy struggling to get him away here. There's the last ball coming up. We're going to bowl a googly. Khan's here. Oh, going to get the one out there. What an over. Only two off. Zahir Khan to bowl his second. Only two off the first. Very nice. Oh, is it Boldham? What? I thought that was going to be a wide. It's Boldham League start. Let's look at this. Oh, it's unreal. I'm going to take another replay here. English gone for 10. Huge wicket. So here Khan, once again, in the polls. Mitch Marsh, the new man. Hopefully we can get a dodgy umpire decision to go our way. Just clipped the stumps. Yeah, mate. It's stiff, mate. Very stiff. Oh, bold, though. Bold around the league. Sort of thought. Cheers. All right. Mitchell. Oh, it's on here. Oh, my God. We didn't change the bloody field. What an absolute clanger. It's going to be a one bounce four, too. No, it's out. It's just popped up. Got him, got him, got him. Thank you. That just popped up. Huge wicket as well with the Roy. So here Khan makes things happen. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Just popped it right up. 40 out of 40. Very good knock. But the spinners have come on. They've changed the game once again. Ashton Turner out to the crease. Uh, Marsh, face, Marsh facing though. Oh, hang on. Any danger? Hopefully he cuts it off. Oh, he's done bloody well there. Yes, lad. Good work. Lovely. Very good. Last ball of the O2 for nine. Got him. Oh, you're taking the purse. Is that? That's three in the over. So here comes just taking three in the over. That one just slid on and hit the stumps. Holy shit. What a nut. Terrible, terrible shot to play though. That is unreal. 5 for 75. How the game's turned on its head there with that three wickets. In the over. So here Khan, should he makes things happen. What a overseas signing. Gotta admit though, some pretty poor batting as well. They had such a good base to start with. And they seem to have thrown it away. 5 for 75 at the halfway point. And the spinner's doing all sorts. The only thing is I'm gonna have to take out is a here Khan. Oh got him. Um, to bring on Maxwell to, in, a, in order to have the overs correct. But uh, I mean the spinners are doing the job. Zampa with another wicket this time. And unfortunately, Hardy's the man to go for a golden duck. Yes. Oh, here we go. Another catch. I actually brought on... Oh, nah. He's going to drop it for sure. He's dropping it for sure. Oh, he's caught it. Thank fuck for that. I was just button mashing the shit out of it, hoping it would work. And it did. So here Khan kind of picks up his fourth. Was that the last wicket of the over... He's on a hattie now. I'm pretty sure he's on a hat trick. Pretty confident he's on a hattie. Four for nine. Absolutely cooked areas here. Okay, let's go leg break. Seven for 77. And uh, not too bad. Max is on. Very nice. Okay. Now time for him to take some poles. Tie first ball. First ball goes bang. That one could go for four as well. And it will. Oh, got him. Oh, unbelievable. Spin is so OP here. I don't get it. Bearing off the new man. Can Maxwell finish it up this over? Uh, yeah, I forgot to change the field once again. Very annoying thing there, and he's probably going to pick up four. Ah, I forgot to... Oh, this is one thing that shits me. Absolutely shits me. Surely when a new batsman comes out, leave the same field for what the previous batsman was. It's not hard. Okay. Ruined. Figures are ruined. Swept for one. One more ball to go. Oh, fucking showed all the stumps there. But he got the result there. Four more. Last ball for Zampa's spell. One for 23 at the moment. Can he make it too far? Yep. Nope. The other sweep comes out again. Are they going to go for two again? No. Maxwell bowling his third. Turn up 14 off 18. Yeah, I wouldn't think so, mate. Short arm ball. Don't know what he's going to do with it. Yep. 
That's a great shot. That's found the gap, and it's going to be a boundary. That could be another four. A little fight back here from the Scorchers. If they get up to 130, it's uh, probably pretty good from what they were. And it's probably pretty uh, competitive against uh, if betting if it. Oh, no run. Got him, thank you. Turn it apart. Maxwell picks up another. Now Scorchers, nine down. A shot, played it on the up. That is some tall bounce, and that is a great shot from Berendorf. Okay, here we go, Maxi. Wrap it up. Chiff 22 at the moment. It's a good shot. It's gonna be one though. Yes. Fuck. Armored. What do you call this? Oh, it cuts it off. Maybe just the two, surely. They were thinking about it. Oh, here we go. Oh, I've thrown the wrong end, haven't I? <sighs> Clanger. I want them to go under 130. This is actually a pretty good total for them. Considering where they were and considering how poor our batting is. Last ball of the spell for Maxi. Yep. Catch it. Let's wrap it up. Wrap it up here, boys. Oh, here we go. Surely caught it. Surely. Catch it. Catch it. Got him. Thank you. There we go. A 128 to book a spot in the final. Let's get it done, lads. So, Scorchers, 127 all out. Uh, bowling. Headlined by Zahir Khan. 4 for 17 or 4. And then Maxwell, 3 for 27. Cordon Isle, 2 for. Example, 1 for. Let's get it done, boys. Let's make it to the final. Pretty sure Stornis has under-delivered big time here. I don't think he scored many runs at all. I think it's probably my fault for trying to launch with him uh, first over. Uh, maybe some overthrows. No, no, no. Essentially, need to go like 6.5 and, and over here. So, not out of the question for us. Just going to make sure we make the most of this power play, really. That's uh, not in gap, just one. Well, I mean, I'm going to take that every day of the week. Oh, four? Yep, four. Very lucky. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry, but we've absolutely done that on purpose. I want to take off for a run and uh, cancelled it very quickly. And uh, he's thrown it down the wrong end, and now I'm backing up, and we're taking another four. So Storm is very lucky, very fortunate to be on 10 off 7. But it's uh, what we want to see. Oh, God. What did that come off the glove? That's out. Played it way too early. Fletcher, Spice Man, no! Made a uh, different change here. Paran, the new man, the lefty, at the start of the, uh, start of the chase. Don't know if it'll work, but I'm hoping... Oh, fuck off. Okay, I didn't realize there was a slip there. What are we doing? Go the ball. Oh, is it going to be out? Fuck off. Oh, my fucking God. I thought we absolutely smashed that. Paran, what have you done? This has got fucking choke ridden all over it, lads. Pretty classic star stuff, though. And Richardson is back buying some heat. Come on, Storm. Come on, mate. Another 105 to go. Can we get it done? Shot. Finally a good shot. It's going to for four. Oh, I'll tell you what, very lucky. Stornis has ridden his luck big time this innings. Surely he tries to capitalize on it, and he moves on to 23 off 18. Two fours to start off this over. Definitely helps. Two for 31 now. Last over of the power play. Oh, it's going to get a sneaky little one. Oh, shot, Hilton. Not the worst. Going to scamp through for a two. Oh, it's four, surely. Go. Oh, it's not. We'll get two out of it, though. Hmm. Better than getting out, I guess. Last ball of the power play. Only 36 on the board. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Although, okay, two for 40. That sounds a lot better. It's a cracking shot there from Hilton. Hardy. Bowling for the first time today. Oh, look at this. So many options. Two. Come on, Stoin. Get up. I don't think he's going to get back in time. He is not. The old slinger really putting me off here. Don't like it at all. Cheeky. Maybe two. No, no. Inglis going after it pretty quickly. Oh, we've chopped it on. What the fuck? That's coming out of nowhere. Taking the piss. The forward rotations. Oh, that is stiff. Storing out for 30. Uh, Maxi. Okay, Maxi and Carr right at the crease here. Come on. Bring it home, lads. The captain, surely. Takes it all on himself. Last ball of Richardson's third. And Maxwell's going to give to Mark. 
Thank you, Hilton. We're just we're just waiting on it. It's been quite some time since we've last got a boundary, but uh, we waited on it. Jai eventually bowled one, 114 meters six. It's certainly helped there, and now we need to go under a runner ball with Hardy bowling his third. He's bowled all right. It is tough to get away the slings. Not gonna lie. And uh, when we can, we're just gonna pick him up for a single or two. Wow, it's could be four. Jeez, that is very lucky. Mitch Marsh into the attack. I'm surprised they haven't seen Farwood Armoured yet. Surely they've got to try something, because we just seem to be picking them off at this stage. But Mitch Marsh, the captain, has uh, been brought, brought himself into the attack here, trying to make things happen. Ties back, one for six off two. If they need a wicket, they need it now. Need to break this partnership, 14 or 15 here. Oh, and he's probably done it right now. Blue fucking ball's done me there, lads. Unfucking believable. Larkin, though. Very good bat. Come on, boy. Can't believe we fell to a blue ball. Though he's come on, he's done the job, and he's got two for six, so he is flying right now. Oh, hang the fuck on, Larkin. That is sensational. First ball brings out the back dog and absolutely caresses it through extra cover for a boundary. It's a lovely thing to see. And he follows it up with a cheeky single. Aaron Hardy to bowl out here. We need 37 or 42. Walk in the park, surely. Let's get it done, lads. Come on, cart right. Oh, Lord. Missed out on the blue ball. Probably would have got out to it if we tried to launch, though. Thank you, Larkin. That's six, surely. Huge. It just helps. It just helps us get it done quicker. And now he's going to hole out. That's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, and it's just unfortunate. Right, I got your boy out of the crease here. New over. Tie bowling out as well. Surely they're going to bring on the spin soon. Gotta have to try something. Oh, lordy fuck. How are ya? Oh, he's dropped it. That could have been... That made things very interesting. That's a cracking shot there, Hilton. It should be four. 22 needed now. Hilton cut right on 39. Can he get the half century? He's deserved it. He's batted bloody well. There you go, good shot into the gap, 4-1. For, for us to go, we need 15. Let's get a little cheeky 5 wicket win here, boys. God, that was yuck. 44 of 36 for Kyra. Nice little maximum to finish it off would be fantastic. Uh, not that time. Almost out, not to be. Marsh is going to keep bowling. They're not going to bowl spin. Very odd. And we only need uh, 10 from the last three overs. Let's get it done. Shot. Just the one. I'm surprised they haven't brought the field in either because we are just picking off these uh, ones and twos very easily without any risk of whatsoever. Surely you've got to make us work for them here. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Whoa, what the hell? Two overs to go, we need five. Let's get it done this over. Wrap it up. And Berendorf's going to bowl out here. Good shot. Oh, that could be the tied game unfortunately we can't right won't get a half century but maybe gotch can finish off with a maximum no they're going to keep the same uh, field here very odd stuff looks like we will win the match right now yeah we're just going to run on the arm and there we go lads that's the win that puts us right into the final get around it lads check a little five bucket win man of the match of course so here can't for his four for 17. absolutely sensational and him with the bat Stornis was 30, Cartwright 47 not out. Everyone sort of chipped in apart from Fletcher and Peran, but uh, lads, we're in the final. So I've just quickly done another competition here. This is going to be the knockout, is the Sixers, with the winner of the Eliminator, which was the Renegades. So I'm going to simulate this one, and the Renegades won by 9 wickets. Vince 83 not out for the Sixers, getting 184 for 3. Finch though 99 not out, and Harris 68 getting the job done there. So in the challenger is going to be the Scorchers v the Renegades. Let's see how we go there. Okay, so now we're into the challenger. It is the Scorchers who lost the qualifier against us, against the Renegades who won the Eliminator, who won the knockout. Can they go all the way to the grand final? And they can. What the hell? It's going to be a bloody Melbourne derby for the final. We've been here before, and it didn't end, uh, it didn't end up too well. So Bancroft top scoring was 60 or 46 there. Sullivan with 3, and then Finch once again continuing his great form, 86 of 48 to guide the lads home. They got it They got it done inside 17 overs, absolutely smashed it. But uh, there we have it, the final is going to be the Melbourne Stars v the Melbourne Renegades at the G. Absolutely sensational. But uh, that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like and subscribe. If you're feeling up to it, leave a comment down below about who you think will win the final, either the Stars or the Renegades. But uh, until then, take it easy.